on this episode of New England Living. And then we have the wonderful kitchen space here, a big island. Okay, who is happy in this space? <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things we didn't want to do was to come in and just take away and, and plunk a brand new house into, into that location. So we chose the wall color in the dining room, mm -hmm. the chairs, the uh, hint of it in the couches. If you love seasons, this is the place to really capture every one of them in its intensity. New England Living is brought to you by Clark, Sub-Zero and Wolf and Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. And of course, please stop into the all new Seven Tide in the Seaport District in Boston. Welcome to New England Living, I'm Parker Kelly. And I am passionate about art, architecture and design. I also love to travel, meet new people and I'm definitely a foodie. Join me each week as I travel all over this beautiful region showcasing the most spectacular homes and meeting the key players involved in creating them. To top it off, I'll cook up some delicious dish with a chef and we'll finish it off with a celebration of it all. I'm Parker Kelly and this is New England Living. Today I'm on my way to the heart of Midcoast, Maine, to a town called Camden, the jewel of the coast right on Penobscot Bay. They say it's where the mountain tumbles into the sea. The scenery is spectacular, and the Camden area is rich with maritime history. Its charming downtown offers plenty of quaint, locally owned shops, art galleries and restaurants, as well as luxurious places to stay like the Camden Harbor Inn with its five-star restaurant and views of the bay. Camden is the perfect venue for many outdoor adventures, hiking Mount Batty, sailing in and around Curtis Light, paddleboarding, skiing, snowboarding, and camping. I'm on my way to meet homeowner Lainey Stiles, a busy single mom and businesswoman. Lainey moved to Camden 15 years ago and bought the local market Maguntacook. The market is key in this small community, and there you can pick up anything from cold cuts and sandwiches to fresh vegetables, wine, and cheese. Laney also runs her catering business out of the market. Laney's home, fondly known as the nested neighbor, was newly constructed, but nestles nicely into an established Camden neighborhood. Laney wanted an open home concept, one that would work well for her and her young son, Benjamin, today, but that would also work as he grew with plenty of shared space, but also private space for each of them. She wanted a sunlit home that felt cheery with large windows that let the outdoors in in an effort to beat the shorter, darker days of winter. With the help of five builders and architects, Lainey got exactly what she wanted. We're gonna meet the homeowner, tour the home, and talk to some of the players who helped make it happen. And then Lainey and I are gonna cook up something delicious in her kitchen and celebrate New England living in Camden. in town. Right, it's an easy walk to town, which makes it great. With a little three-year-old, we get to do that That's often. perfect, I had no idea. So you're, you're like, like in the woods. I yeah, this it. is one of the best streets that really has lots of old trees and it is very private and yet it's really close to town. I love it. And one of the things that we love about this house is that it's sort of this indoor, outdoor sort of feel. So yeah. this is the front door, uh, leads right out into the back. I love it. So it walks it. right out onto this nice deck and patio. So the deck kind of flows around the house mm -hmm. and um, it's good for walking or if you are a tricycler like my son, you can <laughs> tricycle all the way around. I can't say I'm a tricycler. No. <laughs> but <laughs> past that stage. Yeah, so uh, interesting, uh, you have a landscaper you used too? Yeah, we did. Um, it really helped us like try to fill the beds and put different varieties of things in. So um, we, the, the neighborhood's great. We have lots of old trees around here, but this ornamental tree we added. I love it. And then one. there's another one right here on this side of the same nature. And I love that round window. That's a large round window. Yeah, it's a great round window. There's also another one up in the top of that uh, 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 peak right there. So they kind of match each other when you stand away from them. 
so I wanted a very open house. The whole room is one big open space, and yet there's little things that have divided it up. So as you kind of look past into mm -hmm. the dining room there, you'll see that there's some, what you might think of as built-ins. And then the dining room is a, is a wonderful uh, dimension, um, and Phi also through their special sort of cabinetry shop yeah. built this wonderful table for us. Okay. So if you'll notice it's a little bit longer and a little narrower, um, but of course it has a leaf in it and it's just great for this space. So I love the, um, the combination of texture of the fabrics and then the wood and then those modern touches. And then we have the wonderful kitchen space here, a big island and lots of spaces to sit as well as to cook, which I love to do. Yes, great kitchen design. Yeah, it's very workable. It's easy to get into. We have lots of great drawers, you know, that roll in and out very easily. Mm -hmm. Have a microwave under the counter, which is nice. And uh, one of the things I just love is this backsplash, another thing that uh, Phi directed me to. And so it has a little bit of a pattern to it. Really beautiful. You're happy in this space. And I have these wonderful doors um, in both the dining room and the living room area. And you know, they're like French doors that open up, but they slide. So they don't take up all that space and they walk right out on those decks that we loved when we were walking around the outside yeah. of the house before. And these are just majestic. They're so large, overscaled. Yeah. Love it. Yep. So the master bedroom is down here on the first level and um, you know it's just a good size room and um, again lots of windows that kind of look straight out which is wonderful. Whoa. So this is, I know, the master bath is really yes, spectacular. It is. So there's lots of built-ins in here and then the beautiful um, marble and there's some beautiful um, uh, tile work here too so we have kind of that um, the rain shower, which is great. Although it looks like a tricycle could come all the way yeah. in here and actually could park right in there. <laughs> so this is our fantastic mud room. Mm -hmm. You never really think mud rooms are that spectacular, no. but they're very important in Maine. People underestimate how important a mud room is in Maine. The weather can be really not that great and you're tracking stuff in, and so you need a place to just drop all of your things on your way in and out. Okay, who is happy in this space? <laughs> <laughs> My son Benjamin loves this space. And when Benjamin's happy? The, everybody's happy, <laughs> that's right. We have a wonderful little slide in here and he gets to slide indoors and out, so he gets year-round sliding. Yeah. <laughs> here comes the big panda. Uh, so, um, child's play, but also a uh, grown-up space. Oh, yes. So you can sit comfortably here while he slides away. And then this wonderful sort of overlook for the whole downstairs area. And we have a little see-through glass here, so no matter how tall you are, you still get to see what's going on. I love that. You know, it's not all about the architecture and the art. Sometimes it's the simple pleasures. He has his own little corner right there. <laughs> And so this is a great space here, a very large room. Coming up. You come up here with Benjamin or? It's a yeah. kind of a. Yeah, we come up, um, we do the trail when we come up here. In the room behind us are all our cabinet makers. Yeah. We can just go downstairs and talk to the guys who are actually going to be building. Clark, New England's official Sub-Zero and Wolf showroom and test kitchen offers three reasons to begin your project here. Explore the world's finest appliances. Then cook and taste Wolf's culinary perfection. Be inspired by innovative design. Do you crave extraordinary? Visit ClarkLiving.com to plan your visit. Technology is becoming a must-have for most areas of our homes, so it's important to get familiar with what your options are. Add a touchless kitchen faucet as an affordable solution to help you get on track. Consult with a Kohler specialist to explore all the possibilities to make your home work for you. This tip is brought to you by Kohler Signature Store by Supply New England. With eight generations of exquisite craftsmanship, Kumar brings a whole new meaning to passion and precision. Their treasures come from remote corners of the earth, traveling across many oceans. The Kubi family brings to the United States the largest selection of exotic stones. 
Kumar, when only the finest will do. From the moment you see it, it commands your respect. You can feel its immense power. The only way to master it is to venture inside. Go ahead, dive in. The GMC Sierra. We are professional grade. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting edge features and top notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in pursuit. One of the best views in town is high atop Mount Batty. I met Lainey there to experience this incredible vista and talk about life. You know, so I've been here in the summertime and now to come in the fall, it's just as glorious. And I would say the winter as well. In the winter as well, yeah. It's, it's the most incredible like season. If you love seasons, this is the place to really capture every one of them in its intensity. What a community here, too. I mean, it seems like everyone is very united. I think you find your niche, you mm -hmm. know, and you find the people who, you know, that you kind of run with and that you kind of think alike, which is run really hard in the summer and then try to enjoy it as much as you can in the shoulder seasons and the off season yeah. and all about the intensity of that moment. And pretty soon we're going to have a moment, big soiree. Yes, yes <laughs> yeah. we are. And are we ready for that? We're ready. Okay. We are ready. One of Lainey's best friends and godmother to Benjamin so we have some people visiting, huh? owns Cellar Door Winery in Lincolnville, just five miles from Camden Harbor. The winery is providing the wine for the dinner party, and I had a chance to stop by and visit. The 68-acre, 200-year-old farm is simply gorgeous, and across the road sits a beautifully restored 1790s post and bean barn, an old farmhouse with all of the original barn boards that now serves as the state-of-the-art winery. The wines are made in small, handcrafted batches with grapes sourced from premier vineyards from across the country, as well as local blueberries from Maine. The spirit of Cellar Door can be felt by looking at the original marking on the door. Early in the 20th century, homeless migratory workers would travel and search for work and a safe haven. The farmhouse door's carved symbol signaled to travelers that this was a safe, welcoming place exactly how I felt when I visited. And the wine, delicious. I'm going to get you working before the end of the night. But this, See, my is, hands the are this is the messier side of things. Yes. So. Well, and you do have the chef's coat on. and You are the chef. It has been said cooking is like love. It should be entered into with abandon or not at all. And if you're looking to design the kitchen to create that love, there's no place more passionate about cooking than Clark. And here with us is Sean Clark to learn more about their newest innovative design destination. Hi, Sean. Hi, Erica, and welcome to Clark. This is our newest showroom and test kitchen for Sub-Zero and Wolf, located at 7 Tide Street in Boston Seaport. So for homeowners and the design community, what can they expect here? They can expect an unparalleled experience because we don't sell anything here. There's no cash register. So the idea is to give you design inspiration with life-size kitchens and the opportunity to test drive all of our appliances. And there's innovation at every corner. What is this area? So this is our media lounge where your architect or designer can project your kitchen plan to scale and then steps away, the products come to life in one of our working kitchens. Wow, this really helps to envision how these products are actually going to look in your own kitchen. That's the goal and as you can see here with Sub-Zero, you have the opportunity to customize your refrigerator, your freezer and your wine storage to specifically fit your lifestyle. Plus, you can test drive Wolf's newest technology. Test driving these appliances is really the only way to make the right selections. 
And then we take you from test drive to tasting. And this is my favorite part. With our small bites, you'll leave here with a taste of what's possible in your kitchen and the name of an authorized dealer. Try one. This looks delicious. Mm. Mm. That is good. Mm -hmm. Clark at Seven Tide is truly a revolutionary experience in kitchen design. If you are looking for kitchen inspiration, visit ClarkLiving.com to find out more. I'm here at Phi Builders and Architects right up the road in Rockport, Maine. I'm going to meet Chris Groton and Trevor Smith and they worked in concert on Laney's home with the design, the build, the architecture. I think you're going to love their philosophy and their craftsmanship. Let's go inside. So as promised, I'm uh, inside Phi and I'm here with uh, Chris and Trevor and you guys tell me, I mean, before we even go into Laney's home, which is exquisite, tell me about the philosophy here at this company. True, I think uh, one of the, the benefits, and one of the reasons why I came here, probably Trevor as well, um, was just based on the idea that you're not just designing a home and letting it go. You know, we're, we're part of the whole structure. You know, we always tell people that we are foundations to furniture from the ground up. I mean, we started as a cabinet shop making furniture and, and cabinetry, and from there kind of evolved into um, construction, um, general contracting, and then we brought a design team in to help just aid that. For, for the house that you went and saw. We, we have a, we, we really in, integrated that design build philosophy. So Trevor and I worked together on the designs, but we also worked a lot with our general contractors, our builders. I love the angles, the, the lines mm. of the home, some of the cabinetry and woodworking and just a lot of built-ins. Yeah, Chris and I, I mean, we're both huge fans of contemporary architecture as, mm -hmm. as well as a lot of traditional main architecture and that that was kind of the challenge with this one is, you know, from, from the exterior, the, the language is very traditional in Our terms of the table. surrounding mm -hmm. Camden, but in terms of that bringing the outside in, uh, as well as all the interiors, you know, the cabin tree, the built-ins, um, we wanted to bring a very contemporary feel to that, but, but still not go too far. That piece of property had such amazing trees and natural landscape, we really wanted to bring it in. <laughs> when we designed the home, the homeowner was pregnant and we you know, were designing for a, a growing family, one in which she was going to be you know, the parent of a child and how is that child going to respond to the space and how are you going to make you know, a space that the scale is right for all yes. the way through life and something fun and, and hopefully something that you know, as, as time evolves, something that everyone can kind of learn from. So, you know, bringing in light into each room, natural light into each room, bringing the scale down into different spaces by having the sloping ceilings and cabinetry built in and, and the glass, you know, partition between the upstairs and the downstairs. You know, we spent a lot of time thinking about how do you create a space for, you know, a family that's going to evolve from infancy through. Yeah. In the room behind us are all our cabinet makers. Yeah. So, you know, anytime, you know, Chris or myself have a question about a, a small detail we're designing when it comes to cabinetry, whether it's the hardware, how the drawers work, um, you can just go downstairs and talk to the guys who are actually going to be building it. That's beautiful that they are right in here together. So I, I guess I'm seeing it here and then that extending out toward the home. And then I, I see it's all integration. It's a lot of communication, a lot of partnership a lot of um, respecting one another's ideas, opinions, skills, and then making something fabulous, really yeah. fabulous. I'm here at Margot Moore Interiors right on Elm Street here in Camden and I'm so excited because I'm going to go in and I'm going to talk to one of the masterminds of Laney's Home, a designer, Megan Vanderkeef, and I'm so excited we're going to talk about fabric and color and texture and everything design. Can't wait. Come on. We're inside your beautiful shop here and it's in an old home. I love yes. the setting. Yes. 
1874 is the date. Nice. Now tell me about, before we get into Lainey's home and uh, the decor and all the brilliance that you guys did there, tell me about your business, your philosophy. This place is beautifully packed with bright colors and texture. I'm a third generation participant in this business. Okay. So we uh, just talk about colors and elaborating with textures, uh, accessories, home decor items. We also have our design studio upstairs. Okay, and so what do you do in the design studio? What kind of work do you do up there? We work with clients one-on-one, -on -one, pulling together fabrics, uh, furnishings. It can be furniture or lamps or uh, something as simple as a tablecloth. So you're really just pulling all these beautiful things and just making them cohesive. That's one Correct. thing I felt about Lainey's home and what you guys did there is just, it was just so cohesive. That's true. We take uh, with, specifically with Lainey's home, the color turquoise was the dominant color that she chose and it started with the island in the kitchen. How did you carry that through was the important concept throughout the entire house because it was open. So we chose the wall color in the dining room, the chairs, the uh, hint of it in the couches, to pillows, to trims, on window treatments, all the way through. Yeah. Now, how did you work out that she has a small child? What, f what factored in on working with someone who has a small child? I mean, the home looks so elegant Does. and so mature and yet very playful, but what about the fabric choices and how did you, sure. how did you work with that? Well, uh, Benjamin had not been born at the time, okay. so, but there was the vision of having Benjamin run through the house. So the stools, we used indoor-outdoor fabric. Uh, the texture in the weave is spectacular. It, it's a neutral um, and he can sit on it and make a mess and Lainey can just pick it up. As far as the rugs are concerned, they're wool. Wool is the easiest to clean. Um, and natural fiber. Exactly. Uh, silks. Benjamin doesn't like silk, so we steer him away from that. <laughs> there are moments where it doesn't work. But, yeah. um, well, obviously, three generations. <laughs> um, this woman knows her stuff, and uh, very nice to meet you. Oh, it's great to Poke meet around you, your Parker. shop a little bit more. Please and, go right ahead. So nice to meet you. Beautiful job. Pleasure. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Shoreline Pools has become Cape Cod's largest builder. They're a team of dedicated and creative professionals that build pools where memories are made and good times are shared with friends and family. They specialize in 3D design so you can see what pool will fit the best for your home. Shoreline Pools doesn't just build pools, they build dreams. We are back in the home with the homeowner, and uh, you don't have to be a chef to have an incredible kitchen, but uh, 
You are a chef <laughs> and have an incredible kitchen. I'm very excited about what we're going to do. So why don't you tell us what we're going to do? Yes, we're going to make some crab cakes. Have you ever made crab cakes before? I can't say I have. Not today, anyway. No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to make crab cakes. Yeah. And everyone probably has their own special recipe. But mine is uh, pretty simple. But this is the way I like to make them. Okay. So I usually start with a little bit of color. So just the tiniest amount of red pepper and a little bit of chives. Okay. And so, so the red-green combination. Yeah, red-green. And it adds a little bit of crunch, a little bit of texture, a little bit of flavor. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick through our crab a little bit. The thing about picking crabs is the crabs are very small okay. and it's very easy to get shell in there. So this is our crab and it just comes in a little container like this. Mm -hmm. And so to pick through the crab, basically I just kind of pick it up and very lightly kind of drop it in a metal bowl. And sorry, I can't use glass, but I like the metal bowl because if I can hear a little clink, 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 then I know that there's still just a little bit of shell in there and there's nothing worse than getting shell in a little crab, in a little piece of crab cake. So right here, there. it's that tiny. We're gonna let those saute a little bit till they get a nice golden brown. Yeah, that's right. Those look beautiful and they smell so good too. They do. Mm. This is just going to be a side for our dinner. Okay. Some roasted asparagus, and I'm going to put them right in the oven. And so just do, right down the middle. Well, I'm going to toss them a little bit, okay. but I'm going to put my seasonings on first. Tonight, I'm just going to use salt and pepper um, because we are having lobster. Okay, so we're going to make a lobster lasagna, and I have a lot of awesome cooked lobster here. Mm -hmm. and Local also? Oh, yes, 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 of course. yes. So we're just chopping the lobster a little bit because the last thing you want when you bite into the lasagna is for a big piece of lobster, and then it's hard to chew. Then we have some ricotta here. Just so straight up ricotta? I mixed uh, two eggs in it just okay. to, again, so when it cooks through, it has some nice body to it, and I put a little oregano in. Just a little bit of uh, tomato sauce here, uh, some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and then I sauteed a little bit of spinach, and um, I think it's going to be great in here. It adds a healthy touch. To it sure does. And then this is a bechamel sauce. So this is where we build. This is a fun thing. Do you ever yeah. do this with Benjamin? This is fun. Uh, not yet. Not we yet. focus on breakfast mostly. Yes. He has a lot more attention span early for breakfast. Yes. So. Then after that, I'm going to add a little bit of... Uh. That's lobster. where it gets good. That's where we go off the track. Yep. And we're um, four wheel driving now. Another layer of lasagna noodles. Okay. They look beautiful. Yep. Um, and gonna, repeat. Yep. Repeats. So we're going to do some ricotta. Feeling a tiny bit of Alfredo. -ish so we, or something? yeah, it is kind of like mm -hmm. that. We make a lot of lasagna at our store, and we use. Um, I bet it sells out. Yeah, I'm gonna just poke again, and again, and get, just want to make sure that the noodles are really covered in there, and they are. You can see that they're totally, yes. totally, totally covered. Yeah, lobster swimming. And we're gonna pop these uh, right in our oven before our guests come and let them cook. All right, and let's and remember who has which one. I have the orange one. Yeah. And I have Just in case, one. we might want to ask the guests, yeah. which one do you like? Right. I think they're going to like both, because they both yeah. have lobster in them. What's not well, to like? Well, yeah, you pretty much told me <laughs> what to do. It's our friend Stubbs. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Parker, yes, Parker, hi. this Parker, is Carrie. Zero pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to be here. Oh, so, cheers. Yay. Oh, I'm glad you guys could come. Yeah. Good Thank to see you. you. Oh, hey, you bet. I don't turn down a free meal. Yeah. Do you care for a crab cake? <laughs> I do. Excellent. I do. I saw them handmade, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so this is what it's all about. An incredible setting, delicious food, yeah. wonderful friends, and of course, that's New England living in Camden. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>